Morning guys, I'm back at the uh, bomb site, I call it, uh, and we have Arm! Yeah, morning. I love this hat, it looks Australian. Did you get an Aussie? It's, it's a Kubra, which is rabbit felt, genuine Australian, and this one is called the, te the Territory. The Territory. The Territory. Sound awesome. like that? Awesome. The and it's basically like having your own veranda. Pretty much. The only trouble with these hats is you can't wear ear muscles. Okay. Right. You know, so yeah. when I'm on the saw, I've got to take it off. But yeah. I don't use um, suntan lotion often, otherwise yeah, right. in my game I'd be using it forever. So I just use it sparingly and I wear long lightweight fabric sleeves and, and big hats for most of the day, you know, and if I have to sit at the saw and do a lot of cutting, I'll put my hat on, cap on backwards so it yep. protects my neck and just aware of sun and melanoma. Today I'm going to start rebuilding now. Right. We've put the concrete feet in the ground yep. and um, gone hard. They must have put enough baking soda in there, <laughs> And uh, so now I'm going to start rebuilding, restructuring. So connecting most of those piles I've already connected to the uh, bearer. Got this one to connect up with some plate, stuff like that. I just put a screw in him for the pouring. Yep. All the rest. And then um, I want to get some studs under here. So I'll probably frame up this front wall, get some studs under there, get that supported. Do all my connections from the beam to the rafters with all those little tags and that gun that drives all the nails in. Oh, yep. And then these joists are floating, so those joists need to be connected to the bearer. Yep. I'll do a plate along there and then I'll level them up as well. Yep. That floor sag more than the wall. Oh, I see. Yep. And then this wall here, we'll make our call where we want this other window to go. Yep. And then this wall I'll connect also down to the bottom there. I'll chop these dwangs out and then I'll run a stud exactly beside the whole way down beside the existing studs. Right. To a new bottom plate there. Cool. And then I'll put in some support for this wall where yep. I've got these brackets. Mm -hmm. I'm probably almost going to, we'll make our decision where this window goes. So I'll take this window out. Yep. And then that'll enable me to actually just chop the bottom of those studs off and then run that other bearer I've got on top between these two here probably or between these three here I think is what I'll do oh yep with that and then I can get another screw in there to these casting plates yep. and then bang that's solid too sweet so, so it's just yeah this this week's putting the structure back together connecting everything up I'll get some ply I'll be putting some bracing in this wall here all those sort of things same sort of stuff that I did with the bedroom just um yeah awesome scale yeah Oh, great. Did you let uh, Bruno off this morning? I did, yeah. Okay. He was whimpering and he desperately needed to go for a pee. You know where he is? Because he's got a habit of running away now. That's why I'm chaining him up. He's been running okay. down the road. Hey, has he? No, he was just giving us a little bit of loves here. And um, I didn't see him when I came. Oh, anyway, yeah. I'll go and find Dan and see he's getting up the tree hut. Thanks, Art. No worries. Good to see you, bro. Good to see you. We can hear noise going. Dan Dan. Permission to come aboard, Captain? Aye, aye. How you going? Very good. How's good it? weekend? Yeah, it's been a nice weekend. I've got to ask you how you're feeling because you're a bit shit on, on Friday over being on the keto diet, or not being on it at least. Yeah, no, I've canned it completely, so I'm feeling really good. <laughs> good on you. <laughs> Uh, good to see you, bro. Yeah, you too. Yeah, yeah, awesome. What so, about, what about your weekend? Oh, awesome, epic weekend. Yeah. Tell us what's going on here, bud. Where you at? Uh, where am I at? I'm gonna uh, line this end, and uh, it's gonna stiffen it up because it was braced. Yeah. Um, to keep it plumb. So, my uh, patrons have already seen it, and they were going, "Oh, they could they could tell how the um, in my voice how happy I was to get the relief to get it finished because it's really been bugging there." fuck out of me like I couldn't finish it and just to come back and just see Dan like smashing it out that's been really really uh, for me it's been um, it's quite emotional because this was for my daughter I couldn't finish it because I fucked my arm and I just felt I was too proud to ask someone to do the job so it was, that's a stupid stupid a stupid male thing eh? I was just it's common though with me eh? we, we definitely we, we think you know it, it rely we, we relied on yeah and um, yeah. We, we want people to to think we have great ideas and to finish them off. Yeah. Well, this one here was just that. And, you know, what I should have done when I when I stuffed my shoulder straight away is I should have got you. I mean, you were, you know, you were a builder then. I should have got you and said, hey, mate, I've stuffed my shoulder. My daughter really wants this tree hut finished. 
and uh, uh, quite a few people had invested in finishing this. Uh, Simon Freeman, good bastard. Hey Simon. Uh, Margaret, over on the coast, you put money towards this. There was a lot of people that did to finish it for my daughter because we, at the, at the time we were really, really stretched to get all the jobs done and I should have put that money towards paying you. you know, I should have gone, okay, well we've got this here, let's, let's pay a builder. And instead uh, it just held off and held off and it's like, that was dumb because Dave didn't get a tree hut. Now she's nearly 20. And like, she's still like, can't wait to live in it. So yeah, and I'm pretty excited, eh? And I feel relieved to get the job finished. Anyway, I'll stop yakking because um, you've got work to do, bro. <laughs> Are you going to be needing lunch today? I'll definitely be eating lunch. Yeah. Do you need me to cook you something or yeah, not? Let me know awesome, now. Beautiful, so, yeah. Sounds I don't want to. Okay, because I want to have a whole dinner today. <laughs> yeah, no worries. All right. What's the plan, guys? We're going to Murchison to go kayaking, and Emma bought a new kayak, and we're going to go pick it up. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's Super exciting, exciting, eh? Yeah. New kayak. <laughs> so you're taking four kayaks with you? Yeah, we are. We okay. are loading the car up. Morning, Dayla. Morning. Okay, we have a sheep that's escaped, Dayla. You reckon you tackle it? I tried it this morning. <laughs> okay, why is it out of the fence? Oh, I know what, the electric fence is broken. It's not ticking. Uh, yeah. It's got a chain on it. Yeah, that's, that's what's easy to catch. And you couldn't catch it? No, I was sneaking up and it would just like challenge me and then run away. Right, well, we'll get, you're going to need to put together a team to catch it before you go. So, I think the electric fence is not working. And you, mate, are supposed to be inside it. I'm going to take that off there, just in case. Oh, I can see the corner, it's a bit loose. <laughs> so your mate's on the other side. That's right. Yeah. There you go. This guy's tame, but the other one's not. First thing we do is we'll just uh, fix this up, eh? Come on. See if we can fix the corner up where she's broken. Well, Dale has tried to catch the sheep this morning by herself, and I've just run around like a blue ass fly and haven't been able to catch it. I did get uh, a little bit fitter, I think, because I was running so much. I think the uh, next plan is going to be to get all five women to catch the sheep because uh, I can't see another way to do it. If I don't catch it, at least it'll be fun watching them run around the paddock. So I let Bruno off this morning, and Bruno's been starting to wander. and. Now we can't find him. I needed a towel up. We've got him on a chain for a reason now because he's wandering. And God knows where he is. I've been around the whole bloody orchard. And we need to find him because he wanders out on the road. And it's not good. Have any of you other ladies seen Bruno this morning, the big white dog? Uh, no, he was just asleep under the yeah. yeah, that's right. Inside the house mm. and then got let off. Yeah. Um, now he's gone. Yeah, okay. No worries. These guys in the new house going right. I'll put a put this up here so they could feed and drink without getting beaten up by the rest of the gang. Ladies, how are you this morning? Nice Hobbs. Oh Bruno. Who found him? Hobbsy. Thanks, Hobbsy. Hobbsy found him, Bruno. There you go, mate. We're worried about you, hey, old boy. Hey Bruno. G'day. Where were you, eh? I was concerned about your boy, eh? Hmm? He smells of like girls suntan lotion. <laughs> he smells like suntan lotion. You've been getting some love, Bruno, eh? He's an old boy. It's Operation Catch, Tackle, Flip, Drag, Back in the Pen. Has it got a name? I've been thinking of calling it just Hog It. Is that what it is going to be? So this guy here is a wild one, he's not like the tame one in the pen. Mm. And um, he's got a chain, so someone grab the chain and hold on for dear life. And someone maybe hold the person holding the chain, like yep. pro bagging. We got this. We yeah, got we this. should live bag The hair's going up, this is getting terrible. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> Birkenstock's on. We're getting ready for the attack. <laughs> Bruno, you can help too. <laughs> well, Bruno can't attack because he's actually not allowed to touch sheep. Surround them, so we need to surround them this way. And you want to walk way further than you think, so, and then come back in. So see that line of bushes? Yeah, That'd be yeah. a good place to like kind of oh yeah start from yeah. and spread out, but not too spread out, and then yeah. all together move in as one. Yeah. 
Yeah, and like, two. and maybe, maybe one still on this side because we might try to go through the pool. So two that side, I'll two go that down, side, down the um side. down the road. Yeah, and sneak up. On yeah. The yeah. If it goes through into the fence, that's fine. Yeah, if it goes into the it's fence, it's turned off. Sweet. It's not okay. going. The electric fence is off. So if it turn, if it goes through the fence, that's great because the objective is to get him in there. And then turn the fence off. So once or, we've no, I don't worry. The fence is actually okay. not going right now. He thinks it is, but um, once you've caught him front so legs. So we could try and spook him into there. Mm. But no, he won't. He won't, mate. Okay, so we can use it as a boundary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so he, we want to surround him into the fence and then we'll try to get him from there. When you've, so, when you've caught him, grab his front legs and lift him off the ground and flip him on his back yeah. and then you can drag him. Sweet, so if, if, someone, if someone grabs the chain, there has to be a spotter to grab the person with the chain. <laughs> okay. I'll grab the labels of your life jacket. Okay, where can I go? Okay, okay. We'll, we'll go down here. Good luck, guys. <laughs> So old Hoggett's on to him. Hoggett's looking both ways going, uh, it's looking good. It's creamy in the pen, Hoggett on the outside, and Hoggett's looking around. Starting to be a wee bit anxious, I think. They're all moving in slowly for the kill. Hoggett spotted them. Who's going to grab the chain? See they've got a gap there. <laughs> well, that worked really well, ladies. What's your next plan? <laughs> you got to grab the chain, guys. Who's going for the tackle? Who's going for the tackle? Grab him! <laughs> oh, not down the Murray's. <laughs> oh, he was in full the charge. Creamy's fretting. Good boy, Bruno. He's keeping well out of it, aren't you, mate? Good talk. They got it? Caught it. <laughs> this is more fun than pig hunting. Oh, you got it! Who caught it? So, what did I say about front legs? Oh, you're going to get hurt, guys. Get those front legs off the ground, eh? You want to grab the front legs? Front leg and lift them up and. and front legs. Pull them, pull them up. Same direction, straight, straight up in front, flip him on his back. On his back, flip him over. <laughs> okay. And then, grab the, the back leg. leg. And then other back leg. Okay, so oh. you're, you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have to drag him back. Oh, sweet. Five pounds will go Got a long way to drag him, guys, because that chain, you just give you a rope. Hey, well done hanging off that chain. <laughs> it's really hard to do that. Yeah. Does anybody get hurt at all? You okay? No, we can. Daddy, you okay? Yeah. Because it was pretty, pretty hard out. It's like shock loading the um. It was perfect. The tree was there and the chain was wrapped around. Yeah. Holding the tree and then he couldn't get further. Is that what you did, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well done, mate. Okay, there you go. Yep. Yep, okay. Good luck with that. Come on, mate. Let's go. Name? Hog it. Come on, hog it. Come on, hog it. You got it, buddy. Don't bite me. No. No, they don't bite you. It's not a, uh, it's not a pig. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any 
any front of mind to Come on, Hoggett, let's go. <laughs> front of mind, Hoggett might get psycho all of a sudden. <laughs> Quick. This is actually working well, guys. I'm impressed. <laughs> you quickly went from a Birkenstock job to a bare feet job. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Hoggett. Sorry, Hoggett. They had them relaxed and lack of oxygen. They had them relaxed and lack of oxygen. Hey, Sai! You got it! <laughs> We've been doing a bit of hunting. Hoggett. Put it this with our bare hands. Hey, these guys pig, honey, mate. Wrestled it, tackled it to the ground. Returning it back to the pen. Yeah. I hope he doesn't know that the pen's... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to... The pen's not going. I'll drop the fence when you get up there, guys. Do you think we should pose with it first like you do after a kill, you know, like oh, the Americans yeah, yeah. do? Yeah, like I'll hold the ears. Like it's a live one? Should we do the pose by the actual pens, just in case it gets out or in the yeah. pen maybe? Just in case you lose it? If it's in the pen it looks like we just caught a sheep in a pen though. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> Don't get the angle with the pin in the background. Look, he doesn't want to go back. He, he, doesn't, knows what's up. he doesn't like his flatmate. Yeah. No, he loves his flatmate. They're calling each other. Last five minutes, like, oh, how'd you get out? He's like, fuck off. He's like, fuck off. He's like, You're handling it well. He's uh, normally a little bit more feisty than that. <laughs> so, how are you going to give me how are you gonna give me the hunter's pose? Oh, yeah. Chill out, buddy. Oh, Dave, 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 Hey Dale, remember how you used to ride sheep? So you want to drag him over this here in the corner? Yeah. Just down here? It's not on, is it? No, no. We'll do that to you, honey. Get him, get him, oh, oh. get him, boy, get him. Pull him, he doesn't want to get in that fence because he thinks he's going to get shot. Get to pull him hard, get to pull him hard. There we go. Yeah. Back up, back up, back up. Fence up, fence up. <laughs> well done. <laughs> I was hoping someone was going to ride him. I thought Dada was going to jump on and go for a ride. Look, they're having a little secret talk. Yeah, they're, they're, they're happy to be together. Hey, job well done. Woo! <laughs> yeah, you, you guys yeah. nailed it. <laughs> Nobody got injured? Good job. No, he's fine. They're happy. They're happy to get it. Thank you. Thank you. See ya. Wild places. Wild game. Simon's on the job this morning, and I think he's come out to talk about my new pole shed. I'm getting another one, a four bay one, and so far I'm still waiting for a price from your mate, but when I do, then we'll better start uh, the ordering process, because let's face it, we need a place for vehicles. This place is impossible all the time. Every day there's somebody here, and there's just not enough space. Not only vehicles, but also hay. You need a hay shed. Yeah, so. yeah, we've done like all the materials for us. You're just waiting on a labour for us now. Yeah, you've done your job. It's the builders, yes, yeah, not not him, mate. No. Simon's always done his job. He's always <laughs> good, eh? <laughs> Try to. Good dogs. So Bruno was down on the highway again this morning. Arb let him off, not knowing that Bruno started to wander. And Joey phoned me up. Thanks, Joey. His wife was going past and she saw him on the highway. So Bruno's got to stay on the chain now. He can't roam anymore. Bit of a shame, really. That's a good boy. Toe. Nice. Big Z. Hey. Posse on time. That's right. That's what time it is. Good boy, hey. Eat up. There you go. Much dear Pope. That boat. In your box. You've had yours, Bruno. Not for Bruno. It's a big sea.
Pixie. Pace. Pace in your box. In your box, Pace. Good boy. B. In your box, B. Good boy. Pixie. You like that, Pixie, eh? Is it good? Eh? Good girl, Poe. Good dog. I'll let Bigsy out for the rest of the morning. You can just hang around the farm. He doesn't go too far, do you, mate? He's a good dog, aren't you? Eh? Good well, Ducky, you, mate, you're on the wrong side of the fence, so we'll take something out of the feeder for you. There's only way you're going to get feed, isn't it? Eh? Here we go, right there. Turn to that. Tail wagon, happy duck. This is the new home for these chickens, it's where they don't get beaten up by the rest and there's a bit of feed there and a bit of water. Not ideal is it? It's not sustainable really. What do you reckon there Bigsy? You can't get bullied so bad out there can you eh? These guys are real tame. So those chickens came from Ryan's family and they are uh, slowly making their way sort of at home here but uh, not very hospitable the rest of the chickens, been pretty nasty to them really. Yeah you guys, pretty mean. These guys are just loving a the pond. They love it here. Very happy ducks. There's something really bloody satisfying about growing your own plants. And I'm, I'm really stoked. This is my first year ever of growing strawberries. And this old bed frame with the guttering off the house has made a brilliant grower for them. And let's face it, who doesn't like strawberries? Anyway, uh, that's today's clip. Thanks for joining us. Good luck with your own gardening, your own children, whatever you're doing, your mates, your hunting, your fishing, following your dreams, your adventures. Thanks for watching. Be good, can't be good. Well, you know the story. Try and be careful, and we'll see you in the next video. Strawberries. Strawberries and cream. Ripples in my mouth just thinking about it. Salivating.